Namaste or Sitaram. My name is Paniguru Prashad. I'm one of the resident spiritual leaders of Sudama Mandir. This temple was founded by Pandit Ramesh Prashad, my dad, along with Nazir Muhammad, the late Nazir Muhammad, the late Gau Prasad, and our public relations officer by Evans Permal, along with uh, other members and delegation of this mandir. And today, this morning, I want to deal with the subject matter of mothers, what they mean in different cultures, and how, what is the symbol of them. No civilization, no culture, no life would ever exist without the presence of a mother. In every language possible, from Swahili to Sanskrit, to Hindi, to Hebrew, Urdu to Arabic, we can go on and on. We will discover there are infinite outlay of words that describe a mother. Mata Amba, Madre Amre, Matri, Bhagavati, Prithavi, and so many others. All of these words and language converge on one essential being that has given birth to life, an energy, a force that only a being whose very nature and expansion of growth, purely divine, can be some of the definitions in Hinduism. The first mother is Dharti or Mother Earth, or the simple fact to consider. In fact, this statement speaks for itself. What will be the status of life without the earth? Nothing. No one will exist. So Mother Earth is the first mother that we pay reference and respect to. This is why we sit for puja and offerings and surrender to that Mother Earth. The first mantra that the pundit, the priest, recites is Prithavi Twaya Deta Loka Devi Twang Vishnuna Deta among Devi Pavitrang, which simply means, O oh Mother, please accept my offerings as I begin this puja, this offering, and thank you for the blessings of life. The earth not only provides thousands of species of life, but such is the love of a mother, which provides for us all with food, sustenance, energy, and every possible thing we need for living. And this prayer that we chant constantly and daily, Tomeva Mata Chapita Tomeva, Tomeva Bandu Chasaka Tomeva, Tomeva Vidya Ravinam Tomeva, Tomeva Sarabam Mamadeva Deva. The first thing mentioned here is, O oh God, thank you and bless my mother, then my father, my brother and sister, and then society. So the mother comes first. The first thing is Matra Deva Bhava, Pitri Deva Bhava, Acharya Deva Bhava. And this Chaupai, it tells us from the Devi Bhagavatam and the Saint Sur Surdasi says about the definition of a mother. Koina mahima pavi para tinahu loka me teja ujara teju naya bala me raje tadapana bala chandra chave chaje. There is no one in this world can measure up to your being, O mother. Words cannot describe you as it will limit the real meaning of you. Mother, you are beyond words and definition, as you are the resplendentary energy that sustains life. Here we see two important factors and facts to consider. One is that no matter what we attempt to say in defining our mothers, no amount of words can be enough. No amount of hallmark card can do the job. No amount of flowers can tell the story of a mother. Don't get me wrong, every day is Mother's Day. And that's why we should buy flowers and buy cards and buy phone cards to contact our mother on a daily basis. In the second Chaupai, it tells us that she sustains life according to Saint Sur Surdas that speaks for itself. It's the mother who holds and sustains a family together. When there is a presence of a mother in the home, she ensures by very nature that there are no shortcomings. She ensures that there are no lengthy arguments and no quells and misunderstandings and brings a sense of balance, peace and light at all times. I cannot imagine my own life without my dear mother in our home. To sustain is to hold together. A mother is the nucleus of the family. 
She is without any doubt the centre of nurture and care in any home. During the best of times in our life, we shall always adhere to the joy of our parents and family. But most times, during the darkest of moments, it is the mother whom we seek refuge and shelter with her kindness, loving words and comforting advice. And the second Chopai tells us, Prana Vahi Swaha Swarupa Parameshwara Shakti Rupa Tumaridhi Navasidhi Tumabina Yoga Siddhi. A mother is the breath of life. She is the prana. She is the breath of life. From the moment of conception, she gives us life. And through the umbilical cord, she breathes life into our being. As Chaupai says, she is the center of nourishment. Without her, there will be no life, no growth, no expansion and no hope. She brings the sense of true purpose of family, light. She is that divine mother Lakshmi, the goddess Lakshmi, that gives light into the home. When a mother is there, there is always fragmented. The family is fragmented, is breaking up into pieces and there is no light into the home. That's why she is the goddess at all times and if you do not respect your mother, the Chaupa is Tuma Bina Yoga Nahi Siddhi, one will never experience the doors of prosperity, unity with the heavens or simply one may never experience true lasting happiness. So mothers are divine beings as the great Sai and Satya Sai Baba says. He says, Mother is everyone's primary wealth. There is no higher God than Mother. It is in her role as a mother that there is the highest expression of a woman's strength. Every child that is born owns its existence to the Mother. Hence, everyone should be grateful to one's Mother. So Mother's Day are divine beings. And today is an opportunity to renew our love, our vow and commitment as I speak about mothers today. And the third and final Chaupai and chant tells us, Karahu kaja puna dehi bhakti, barahu buddhi bala vidya shakti, mata upati katha sukadai, veda purana sadaya shagaye. In all scriptures of the world, a mother is described as the giver of knowledge, strength, comfort, and she's the very first teacher. The Chaupai says, our mother is the first guru. She gives us buddhi, bal, bal which is strength, vidya which is learning, and shakti which is energy. Through that blessings we attain the great heights of knowledge, incredible learning skills, and she's that goddess, Saraswati, in our life. The powerful energy to accomplish all goals and objectives. She brings Sukhadayani, a sense of real joy and happiness on the basis. Her praises are found in the Veda Puran, Sada Yashagaye, and all the scripted, sacred texts and scriptures. My dear brothers and sisters, I can go on talking about the Blessed Mother for hours, but it's time for us to reflect on what mothers mean to us. Reflect on the strength or the hope she simply presents, advice and love that brought light and illumination to our lives. Today I want to ask you that you pray for your mother, her wealth, her happiness, and be grateful for her presence in your life. Pray for the blessings of her love and good wishes. And last and finally, the mother is everything. She is our consolation in sorrow, our hope in misery, and our strength in weakness. She is the source of love, mercy, sympathy and forgiveness. He who losses his mother loses a pure soul. Who blesses and guides him constantly? Colin Gibran. So as we end this blessed evening, I want to end with a prayer for all the great mothers as I have given you the message of what mothers symbolizes and represents in different scriptures of the world. 
ओम गिरिजाय विद्महे शिव प्रियाय धीमहे तन्नो दुर्गा प्रचोदयात ओम गिरिजाय विद्महे शिव प्रियाय धीमहे तन्नो रुद्रा प्रचोदयात ओ डिवाइन फादर ओ डिवाइन मदर एज वी कंक्लूड दिस इवनिंग वे वी ब्लेस आवर मदर्स दैट दे मे एक्सपीरियंस ऑल द प्रॉस्पेरिटी ऑल द पीस and tranquility in the world over and may they bless us in our going out and coming in bless the food you have given to us oh mother teach us to use thy gift to thy service as we humbly surrender and bow to you om shanti shanti hari om my name is pani guru prashad thank you for listening to this message god bless all of you i love all of you take care जन मारुति नंदन सुन लो मेरी पुकार पवन सुत बिनती बारंबार